All right, welcome back. Uh, my name is Elena. Third workout vlog, video log thing. Um, today was abs and arms. I was at the uh, UNG, the rec center gym. That's why I'm in my car. It's irrelevant information. Anyways, uh, abs and arms today. I did, uh, I ran before I did abs and arms. Uh, just a mile though. Um, just at a leisurely pace. I didn't time it or anything, but mile run, uh, then a couple machines, uh, chest press, shoulder press, uh, triceps, all three sets of 12. And then, oh, and then the ab torso rotator one. And then, oh, and then I did a little circuit of like abs, um, I had the 15 pound medicine ball. I don't know why it's called that. Feels wrong, but it is. Medicine ball. Um, did crunch it or sit ups and pushed it like over my head and then used it and did um, Russian twists with it. Again, three sets of 12. Oh, and then I did um, plank, held it for uh, 10 seconds, shoulder taps for 10. Um, and then up and downs, like that, I think that's what they're called, or sphinx or something, I don't know. Um, application for it today, uh, is essentially what happens in your body to contract your muscles. Um, so that's with the signals being sent, um, from your brain to your muscles, essentially, that, um, the action potential gets set and if it's so your cells are at negative 70 baseline um whew, sorry <laughs> uh negative 70 baseline and an action when an action potential is sent um oh is when it so i'm talking about the curve um so in order for the cell to become positive, sodium channels open to rush into the cell. So a bunch of sodium can come into the cell to make it more positive because sodium are positive ions. Um, so then it increases. And if it gets above negative 50, then that's when um, the action potential is set. So the message from your brain is sent through your cells, essentially. Um, so then sodium channels close because enough sodium has come in that the cell is now positive, the inside of the cell is now positive, so enough sodium has entered, so the sodium channels close, then um, letting the potassium channels to open. So the potassium channels open, potassium comes into the cell, um, so then you can repolarize the cell. The potassium channels close, and then that's when we have the, um, where it goes all the way back down below negative 70, and um, sorry, under <laughs> negative 70, um, is where we have, like, the refractory period, so that's that recharge time, essentially, um, to get it back up to baseline to be able to send another signal to get another action potential, um, yeah, and then that sodium-potassium pump at the very, like, towards the refractory period um, is where we're letting sodium and potassium ions in and out of the cell at the same time to neutralize it, to get it back to its baseline. So that way it can fire again. Um, so you get it back up to that negative 70 to, to get it closer to that absolute threshold or that, um, the, the threshold that it has to hit in order to send another action potential. Um, so it lets out... What's three sodiums out, two potassiums in? Two, three sodiums in. Not out. Yeah, three potassiums out, two sodiums in. That's what it is. Oh, when it's going down, when the potassium channel's open, all the potassium's leaving. That's what it is, not the potassium coming in. The potassium's leaving the cell. So then the potassium, sodium potassium pump um, gets it back to baseline. So that all the sodium that rushed in is now able to leave and all the sodium that, or and all the potassium that left is now able to come back in. That's what it is. Got it. Yeah, I'm not refilming it to fix that. 
But so essentially once that action potential is set, um, it's what causes your muscles to contract. So it tells you if it's excitatory, then that's what tells your muscles to contract. Um, that's the EPSP. So the excitatory postsynaptic prompt. I don't know. Or IPSP where it's inhibitory, uh, which is no contraction. So yeah. Oh, thanks for watching. <laughs>